What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I am the lovely Rain, and you have now entered Rain's room. Or welcome back to Rain's room. <laughs> So on this beautiful day, we're going to be talking about accomplishing nursing school, okay? I always get asked these questions like, Lex, do you have any tips of rain? Do you have any tips on how to survive nursing school or, you know, any pros, any cons, any stories, anything like that? So I'm going to give you my five tips that really help me. This is gonna be a quick, straight to the point video. Before we jump right into the tips, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you get notified every time your girl posts um, more content coming out, so just stay tuned. But let's get right into the topic. Now is the time where either you're applying for a nursing program, you're getting ready to start a nursing program, or you are already in a nursing program. I would say before you step foot, or before you do anything as far as applying, before you even apply, make sure you wanna like, make sure you have a why. Like that's very important. I know a lot of times when we're doing the application process, that's one of the questions, especially when you go through the interview. Why do you want to be a nurse? Ask yourself that before you enter the program or before you start making decisions on what you want to do as far as the medical nursing field. I had wrote down some five tips. I really had to think back on my nursing experience. Mind you, I've been an LPN for two years, y'all. Two years, two beautiful years. I've seen a lot of crazy things. I started off as a CNA. A little bit of background story. I started off as a CNA. Got my CNA license when I was in high school. Took a break. Then a year later, got into the LPN program, and now I'm an LPN. I am working towards my RN degree. The program that I was in started in August, and it ended in July or June. So it was like an August to June type of program. It was a 12 month program. It wasn't. I didn't have to do any pre prerequisites or anything for it. It was just apply and you get in. So I didn't know what to expect and me I'm the type of person I want to know what I'm getting myself into so I was asking everybody in their auntie like how is nursing school like what should I do what do I need to do what do I need to avoid you know I was all over the place all over the place I was a nervous wreck now mind you when I did the applying process the application process I already knew I was getting in the program I already knew the manifestation law of attraction I already knew I was getting in the program, but I didn't know what to expect in the program. Now, the first half was easy because it was basically like fundamentals, um, CNA, basic care type of um, learning. So tip number one, this is more so a mindset tip. Like I said before, into the program, knowing your why. Do not go in the program with a negative mindset. Trust the process. Trust and higher power, the Lord, trust that God will deliver because he will. Pray and just have the positive mindset that you're gonna make it through. Stay focused and stay determined. Stay dedicated and do not forget your reason why. And do not allow other people's horror stories and stuff scare you off. Don't do that. Just got fear and anxiety in your heart for no particular reason, baby. Go through it for yourself, learn for yourself experience it for yourself okay and do the darn thing but i know it's easy said to do i know we all like to know what we're getting ourselves into what to expect but i would just say you want to enter the program with a clear conscience like go in there with a positive clear mindset don't worry about anything you got it trust me you got it trust me you got it Change your mindset and everything will be just fine. Yeah, and pray because you don't need it. Tip number two, figure out what type of learner you are because that is very important. Nursing is fast paced, especially if you're doing these bridge programs, it's fast paced. It's a lot of reading, it's a lot of learning, it's like clinicals, all of this stuff. So figure out what type of learner you are. You may be a visual learner. So if you see it, you can learn from it. You may be the auditorial learner, where if you hear it, you, you, get, you catch my drift, you learn from it as well. Me, I am a 
kinesthetic type of learning where I have to be hands on like I do. I have to be doing it. I have to teach it. I have to explain it in some type of way, shape or form in order to retain the information. Some people, they're able to listen to the teacher during a um, lecture. They're able to just listen, you know, a few times and they got it, you know. Or some people may be able to watch a video on YouTube. They're good. They know how to do it. Me, I have to be hands on. I had to open that book. And I had to find me a mirror. <laughs> and I had to teach. I had to be the second teacher. I had to, like, yes, I was paying attention to lectures and I was like highlighting everything she said. If she said it three times, definitely highlight and ask, like, I put a star by it. But when I went home, baby, I had to read it and teach it, like, to, to my little sister, to my mom, to my brother, like, I did to myself, really. Like, I had to really reteach the information to myself in order to learn it. Cause them flashcards did not help me. Tip number three is really vital. It really should have been number one, but time management is so important, girl. In the beginning, they're gonna give you um, a schedule. They're gonna explain to you how the process is gonna go, when you're gonna have clinicals, when it's lecture, when you're gonna do this, when you're gonna do that throughout the program. Orientation day, when you get your schedule, when they lay out everything for you, set out a, a plan, establish a plan. When I entered the program, we didn't start clinicals until like that next month. We started at the beginning of August and then we didn't start clinicals until September. Now, different programs, you may be in school different times of the week. I know my program, I was in school five days a week. RM programs, I think it's a couple, like two or three days out of the week and then you do have your clinical days. Time management and developing a schedule is very important. Like that's gonna save you a lot because because in this program, you're dedicated, you, you have to devote enough time for yourself to study for clinicals. And then outside of nursing school, we have our own lives and we have our own family and things that we have to take care of. So I would definitely be established some kind of time management schedule. And sometimes, depending on what clinical site you have or you're at, sometimes they allow you to bring your stuff. I know like certain places where if we had downtime and there wasn't really too much to do, everything was done. They was like, hey, do you have like any study material that you want to just work on? So that too. So I would take advantage of those too. Always bring your study materials with you. Always. Flashcards, books, whatever you have. Templates, study templates, you can really get them off of Etsy for the low. Study templates, especially digital because everything is digital now. Study guides, lab cheat sheets all of those i will highly invest in those because they are gonna save you so much time invest in those you will not go wrong with that but studying is very vital you have to make sure you're devoting enough time to yourself in order to to study and understand that we all have lives and we all have our personal things that go on outside of nursing school don't be hard on yourself pray just pray and now when it comes to studying don't study to pass the test the exam study to really learn the material my classmate taught me that because i was so focused on trying to pass exams because exams was coming like fast paced every week twice a week i was like boom i just gotta study this material to pass the test but it was like hold on rain you need to learn the material to just know the material it'll help you in the long run when you're taking that in class now nursing school will only get you so far i feel like to help you pass that in class but the hands-on experience when you're working in the real world that's where all the learning really comes learn the material to really know the material because once you know it of course it comes it's gonna come easy to you especially when you're working but don't focus more so on, oh, I just gotta pass the test. Learn the material, babe. Tip number four um, correlates with tip number three, study groups, study sessions. I would say be open, meet people, understand that this is gonna be your family now for a little while. Meet them, interact with them, set up study groups, set up the vote study times for those sessions. Me, make sure we had study groups, babe in the study group we went to the library we stayed at the school i even went to my own my classmates house and we reviewed the material together and that would help as well when you're hearing a certain material somebody may have a different understanding of it and when you all come together and all of that information just mixed in and you 
girl what and then people be coming up with different things on how to remember certain information like those little acronyms and stuff yeah study groups i'm telling you study groups highly recommend i highly recommend i highly recommend devote enough time for a study group even if it's just you and a close friend that you have in a, a classmate that you have in a program study 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 together and go to each other's house and review over the material it will help and then tip number five don't be afraid to ask for help and ask questions throughout the program trust yourself have that positive mindset and ask for help please ask for help be open to new things like when you're at clinicals that's the number one way to meet people interact with people ask questions really learn from because i learned from, like i said i'm a hands-on person so when i was at clinicals i really really learned that was what i've seen a prolapse uterus at clinicals and i was like oh my goodness it's a snapping turla it's a prolapse uterus Take everything in this nursing program seriously, you guys. Like, it's really not a lie. Everything really is a mind thing, especially when it comes to nursing. You just gotta be dedicated, stay focused. Remember your reason why. When it gets hard, because it will get hard, sometimes you're gonna wanna get up. You're not gonna pass every test. You're not gonna get a high score on every test. For the ones who do, all power to you. But just go in there knowing once you start, you are gonna finish. There's gonna be some, some long nights and early mornings. You're gonna lose some sleep. You're gonna have to go sick. You know, you're gonna have to miss out on that party or hanging out. But you have to remember what you came to do. Cause it's a temporary, it's a temporary session of your life. You're not gonna be in there forever, babe. You're not. But I hope those tips really help you. I hope you take something for this video. And good luck on your nursing journey. I pray and pray and pray. I hope and pray that you have a beautiful experience in the nursing program. I wish you the best of luck, babe. And if you have some tips for me as well, drop it in the comments. Because I'm going to be starting nursing school real soon. Lord's willing and baby, I'm ready. But uh, I'm going to need some, some tips. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with any tips or information or anything like that. <laughs> so that wraps up the video. Pray you have a beautiful journey on your nursing um, experience. And I wish you the best of luck. And, you know, hopefully we run into each other on this nursing journey. And you have a, a wonderful day. And I will see you later. Adios.